I was a little bit wary, which is funny growing up in church with teen pregnancy, you know, you always just assume people are judging you. It really led to being not as open to making friends um, as I should be. I really guarded my heart very closely. What I thought was guarding my heart was really just fortifying a fortress that left me lonely and stagnant and unfulfilled. Probably 10, 12 years ago, we, we kind of hit a rough patch. Through counseling and speaking with uh, one of the pastors in North Fort Worth, he suggested I take the Quest for Authentic Manhood class. That class and that small group saved my marriage, my kids, all of me. Um, the, the lessons I had and the relationships we had and you know, learning with other men and growing. And it was something that I really prayed for her to have, her, her to have those relationships and her to have that growth and satisfaction and fulfillment. In 2017, we joined our current life group. The women in that life group just pursued me. They didn't let me slip back into my lone wolf ways. And <laughs> they pretty much just said, no, you know, you're in this. I developed for the first time true friendships. You know, I realized that I let down my guard and I could be real and we could discuss things that I felt like would be judged or re have people reject me. And these women embraced me. It was at the life group. We heard one of the members say, we celebrate the peaks in our lives and not the valleys. And it's, it's the valleys in, in, in real life, the peaks are barren, but the valleys are lush. And that's where the growth happens. And it's never more evident than, than our, our latest valley that we went through. Mm -hmm. This past January, um, we lost my mom to COVID. It's probably the most difficult time I've ever experienced. I've never gone through loss before. And um, thinking now, retrospectively, I know God put these people in my life for that moment. I wouldn't have made it through it without them. Um, when my mom passed, they ministered to my family. Um, they loved, they supported us, they prayed for us and um, essentially just surrounded us. And, you know, grief is a journey and they willingly walked that journey with me. And if it was just, you know, supporting and sustaining me that day, they did it. Or if what I needed was just to have someone sit in my grief with me, they did it. And I'll always be grateful for what they did for me during that very difficult time. My mom actually had um, a ton of friends. And um, so it's so fitting and um, that, you know, the lesson that God has orchestrated and been trying to teach me for so long was finally illuminated with her passing because I have this amazing sisterhood of friends now that surround me and they have encouraged me and loved me and challenged me and inspired me to be more of what God intends me to be. It's turned those fears that I had into faith. It's turned tears into triumph. So I, I just think, you know, it's made such an impact on my whole family.